Hello, uh, you find me in the woods for another five tips video. If you haven't seen the others, there's a, a playlist up in the corner here. If you want to look at those, uh, please do so afterwards. You can view them in absolutely no order whatsoever. There's no particular need to view tip one first because uh, this isn't, a, whilst it's a series, it's not a series. That makes sense? We're in the woodland today and you can see it's pretty bright. Now, yesterday we had blanket fog, and in, that, in fact, today we've had blanket fog as well. What's happened now is that the sun has come out and it's beginning to really burn that fog off, and we've had some wonderful conditions. Tip one, or maybe it's tip 11, because this is the third five tips video for woodland. Anyway, let's call it tip one, is if you've got conditions like this, you want to ensure <laughs> you don't get blinded for certain um, <clears throat> but you treat the light right <clears throat> so because we've got uh, a very atmospheric conditions here I'm shooting into the light you can see the uh, tree here I don't know whether this camera's picking it up or not it may yes I just about see it uh, it's just uh, a wonderfully kind of uh, v-structured tree and I'm shooting that into the light <clears throat> because I'm picking up the shape of it incredibly well uh, with tremendous contrast. I've also had a shot looking um, in this direction from a little bit further back, getting the side light on the trees, because particularly silver birches and, uh, and indeed uh, things like uh, beeches really pick up light very well. And you get the light side and the dark side. So uh, use the force. The one thing that you want to be very, very careful of is shooting with the light behind you because looking into the environment that we have here makes um, a great kind of 3D image with our eyes but it's really difficult to get a two-dimensional shot that's, that's really meaningful. You're actually not working with terribly good contrast and where I'm looking here yeah just into quite dense pine woodland isn't a great idea for this one. What you do have is this wonderful uh, rake in shadows down here, but they're really difficult to capture because one of those shadows is me, so unless I can suddenly make myself look like a tree, uh, it's pretty damned obvious that I'm there taking the photo. So try to look into the light or look against the light at around 90 degrees or get some side light. Now I know one of the original videos or original tips says don't, uh, don't allow the sky. Well, <clears throat> when you've got so much of it here and the sky is actually really part and parcel of your shot, not only uh, can you kind of ignore that tip, but you really need to just embrace it. or two, if you like. Most publicly accessed woodlands have got some kind of footpath running through, or multitudes of footpaths in most cases, and this one is no exception. You really shouldn't ignore them, and whilst these are very natural places, mostly, I mean, even if they're managed, they're natural, aren't they? We're humans, and we make things, we make paths, and we, yeah, we make ways to get through things. And we have a path here, and, well, I'm using it. Simple as that. Making use of these pathways and roadways and yeah, old kind of logging tracks through these woods uh, is a wonderful way of just leading the eye through. It's a, a photography tip over and over, but don't ever ignore it in the woods. So the shot I framed up here, you can see I'm working with a long lens, is looking along a pathway, lovely side light. The balance is pretty nice. All of the trees pretty much are on the right hand side of the shot and um, it's just the light that really makes this one. It's a lovely, lovely shot. And there's a bonus tip. Uh, you know how I like my bonus tips. There's never just five tips in these, is there? As a bonus tip, 
if you've got someone walking down that path, and let's face it, you don't have to wait very long in the woods to find someone that's going to walk down a path for you. If you've got someone walking down that path, you get another element that really adds to the scene. Have a look at this one. Having a human form in a shot like this gives it a sense of scale, a sense of being. It's something you should do. This is as much a do as a don't. Woodland is already complicated enough. And if you're shooting a scene such as the uh, path that I, I had a moment ago, then you want to simplify it as much as you can. What I'm saying is don't try to put a foreground in it if a foreground isn't going to add anything particularly to the scene. Now, I don't know whether the foreground that I've got here with the same shot looking down the, the woodland path is a good one or not. I, I really don't know. I'm not, I'm not overly concerned over it. It's gone off uh, because the foreground that I've put in it slightly complicated but you know, not too bad is oh my phone hello woodlands are so difficult to start with if you complicate it with a foreground you've got to be very good and this just isn't when you've got short days like this and the sun makes its way across the sky in just kind of six hours it moves pretty quickly and you can use that to your advantage or indeed a disadvantage. The point is, in this tip, I want to make you think about how the sun's moving through an environment like this because it won't take long for it to make its way from one point in the sky to another and of course it changes its uh, uh, in its arc as well. And the thing here is to spot things in the woods that are going to hopefully catch some light at some point. And if you're in that environment for a short period of time, just wait, just wait, because the sun will come round and it will hit something. It's had this sapling in front of me and it's just moving off of it now, uh, all in the space of about five minutes. It was a lovely, lovely shot. I captured it before I, went to camera because I knew that light was going to be fleeting on it. So anticipate the light, wait for it, have an idea of where it's going to come. Don't just blindly walk off and then hope. If you spy something that will look wonderful if the light catches it, wait for it. For the final tip in this video, I have more of an illustration than an example. Elevation is what you need, because often, didn't Roy Castle sing that? Often, uh, you find that the best shot for your tree, your shape, or whatever, is actually looking quite, quite a distance up at it. So being at ground level, makes it rather challenging. So if you're fortunate to be in woodland that has some hills and such in it, great. That's really what you uh, kind of want to do, just climb that hill a bit. You don't often don't need to be very high up, you know, perhaps only 10 feet or so off of, the, uh, off of the path or wherever it happens to be. But you want to avoid looking up because you get too much of the sky in, which is often incredibly difficult to control and creates uh, all of your highlights that really take the eye off your subject. But there's another way of doing it as well. I mean, obviously, yeah, if you really fancy, you could take a big step ladder in, but uh, it's not something I'd, I'd recommend. But you can take a drone. So uh, 
just getting your drone up obviously you've got to be really careful uh, and uh, obviously you've got to work within drone laws because it's a public space uh, you know there might be a lot of people around and they could come out of nowhere um, and of course you could run it into some branches and twigs and such which could send it plummet into the ground in a very expensive bill but in the right circumstances sending the drone up will help you get that elevation and of course you've got absolute precision positioning if that's what you need as well have a look at these that came off my drone yesterday. Well, that's it for another video. If you've uh, started with this one and uh, haven't seen the others, then uh, there's some more five tips videos appearing here right now. Take care. Thumbs up to the video. Subscribe, all of that kind of stuff. Share it with your friends and uh, yeah, keep the channel moving. Thank you very much for watching.